because I had been having some ear trouble, I had to wait a month to try out my new wetsuit and new carbon fiber fins. When my GoPro mount failed, I decided to leave the camera behind so I could concentrate on equalizing my ears. But here I am, after an hour of diving the Nakaya rushing back in. Conditions were fantastic and I really wanted to get them on camera. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of time left and I only managed to record a couple of dives. One dive on the rocks where I ran into a school of yellowtail and one dive where I dove down onto the Nakaya. Here you can see a loose school of yellowtail rockfish down 15 or 20 meters. The school of yellowtail videoed, it was time to head out to the Nakaya. The Nakaya can be tricky to dive because the marker doesn't sit directly over the wreck. Here you can see the anchor for the Nakaya's marker. It sits in about roughly 20 meters of water and is about 13 or 14 meters off the Nakaya's starboard stern. From here, the cable rises up to a submerged float which keeps the cable from dragging along the bottom and destroying the wreck. The surface marker is attached by the swing cable coming off to the right. Here's a still of me sitting over the stern of the Nakaya, and you can see that I'm quite a ways from that marker. Even worse, the marker tends to swing around in the current, so its re position relative to the wreck isn't constant. So with all those excuses delivered, here's the one dive that I managed to record down to the Nakaya. I actually managed to drop down the anchor chain by accident instead of dropping down directly onto the wreck, which meant, of course, that I had a 13 or 14 meter swim to make on the bottom to get to the wreck. And of course, the one dive to the Nakaya, I managed to get turned around. I was facing in the wrong direction when I realized that I had to turn around and swim over to the wreck. By the time I did that, I really didn't have any uh, time left on the bottom to look around the wreck. You can probably see a couple of lingcods scattered along the top of the wreck. And in an earlier dive without the camera, I actually managed to find a grunt sculpin down amongst the ribs. So after only recording the last two of about a dozen dives, it's time to head home. When I got back, I was telling my wife about all the fantastic things I saw on the first ten dives down to the Nakaya. A grunt sculpin, a seal paralleling me as I swam from the stern out towards the bow. All she could say was, prove it, and of course, didn't have the camera.